Hello my friends, welcome back to our channel Home is where our heart is, where today I'm absolutely blessed to be spending the afternoon in the company of the humble hawthorn tree. The hawthorn tree is such an incredible tree. This tree can live for over 400 years and it provides a wealth and abundance of food for wildlife. In the spring, the hawthorn tree bursts into life with its beautiful flower blooms and this provides pollen and nectar for the insects. Then later on in the year, as the earth tilts away from the sun and we near the autumn, these flowers transform into the hawthorn berries, providing, and yet again, a wealth of food for more wildlife, such as the birds. Now the hawthorn tree is an incredible tree that's actually been used for centuries, going all the way back in time for its medicinal properties, because the leaves, flowers, and berries of the hawthorn tree are not just edible, they're medicinal. So come with me and we'll learn all about the hawthorn tree's medicinal properties and then we'll head home and Stella's going to show you how to make the delicious hawthorn honey. So the hawthorn's been used for many, many ailments throughout history and it's most commonly used for strengthening and healing the heart. That's where the hawthorn berries power lies. The hawthorn berry was first recorded in the world of herbal medicine, herbalism, by the ancient Greek physician Dioscorides. And he said, the hawthorn is effective for increasing the strength of heart contractions, increasing blood flow to the heart. So what's really interesting about that is that's the first recorded use of hawthorn being used to treat ailments to do with the heart. But all throughout history, the ancient Chinese, all around Europe, everyone for centuries has been using the berry, mainly the berry of the hawthorn for this purpose. So the hawthorn berry has been known in traditional medicine as a treatment for things like heart failure. So then science had a look at it and they'd done a study on more than 850 people. And this concluded that those who took hawthorn extract along with their heart failure medications experienced improved heart function and exercise tolerance. They also experienced less shortness of breath and fatigue. And then there was a massive study on more than 2,600 people with heart failure. And this suggested that supplementing with hawthorn berry may reduce the risk of sudden heart related death. Isn't that incredible? After all of this time gone by, this knowledge being passed from generation to generation, and then these studies being done proving that they had it right all along. Absolutely mind blowing. How did they know? Nobody knows. But now the hawthorn berry. If you want to bring it into your life, of course, first thing you've got to do is learn how to identify the tree. So let's learn how to identify the hawthorn tree. So firstly, you've got the hawthorn tree's bark. You can see it's almost a shade of gray and the trunk kind of twists round out the ground, creating a tension within it. Then of course, You've got these big thorns, giving it the name, the hawthorn tree. You don't want to mess with these. Then you have the berries. These, when they're ready, are bright red, small and round. Now these bright red hawthorn berries look like little apples and they're edible, but the seed inside isn't edible. When you squeeze them open, you'll see the seed inside. You can't eat the seed. But the flesh of the berry is edible. You can see it's kind of oily and it actually tastes like a bland apple. Now the main way you can tell you've got a hawthorn tree is by its leaves. These leaves have five lobes. They're deeply lobed and these lobes alternate in different directions. These are the main way we can tell we've got a hawthorn tree. So the humble 
hawthorn tree it's pretty simple to identify but just so you're confident and I'm confident let's compare it to a tree that you don't want to accidentally mistake for the hawthorn tree and that's the poisonous yew tree now the yew tree if you look at its leaves totally different to the hawthorn the yew tree's leaves are like needles the hawthorn leaves with the five lobes and then when we look at the berries when we compare the berries on the left we have a hawthorn berry that looks like a little red ripe apple and then on the right we have a yew berry now you can see the yew berry's red flesh doesn't completely encapsulate the seed now these are the comparisons on the left we have hawthorn berry on the right yew berry it's pretty easy to tell the difference between a yew tree and a hawthorn tree but it's definitely best to know and understand them basic trees because the yew tree is deadly poisonous it takes just two seeds of a yew tree to kill a horse <laughs> and just 50 of the needle like leaves from the yew tree to kill an adult so let's talk about the edibility of the hawthorn now in early spring when these little leaves start to appear these are edible and they're known to the older generation as bread and cheese because they kind of taste like a savory snack so in early spring you can eat the hawthorn leaves and then of course when the berries appear in late summer and autumn these are edible as long as you spit out the seed they make a delicious snack they taste kind of like a bland apple and we really love them in our house because not because they've not got an amazing flavor compared to say a blackberry but they're a really autumnal kind of flavor they're really earthy there's something special about them it's probably our tickers telling us that they approve and put more of these little berries in the body please now there's lots of recipes you can make with hawthorn berries and there's lots of reasons why you should for one they're a powerhouse in polyphenols these are an antioxidant that you can find in plants and secondly it's just a really good fun recipe to get out with your friends and family and you can create it together it's a bit of work the hawthorn berry recipes it's not as simple as a little boil as a bit of hand labor going on but the end result is a much more unique recipe now one of the most popular recipes of hawthorn is hawthorn ketchup with a little bit of median through a sieve sugar vinegar you can create your own ketchup alternative and this is rich in all them antioxidant properties and it tastes surprisingly like ketchup I'm a bit of a ketchup snob personally I love ketchup I have ketchup on nearly everything and this gets the thumbs up from me and secondly what we'll show you how to make today Steli's new recipe hawthorn honey this is the hawthorn berry infused with actual honey so it can last all throughout the year and we can use it in teas or even a cheeky honey sandwich and that brings all that good heart strength and goodness into our body in a nice sweet treat kind of way and then of course you've got the traditional hawthorn tea where you simply dry out the berries these are berries from last year you simply dry these out and you can make yourself hawthorn tea for the rest of the year and that's probably the most practical way of using hawthorn berries if you want to use them for their medicinal goodness now before we head home instead he shows us how to make some hawthorn honey i thought i'd share some hawthorn folklore with you it's been believed for a long time in folklore that cutting down a hawthorn tree is extremely bad luck and do you know why because it's said that the fairies are the guardians of the hawthorn tree and they actually live underneath hawthorn trees and if you did cut one down then they would seek revenge on you and soon you would perish so that literally means the fairies if you cut down a hawthorn tree will hunt you down and kill you <laughs> and that superstition still runs deep in society today and many people 
probably don't even know why that their granddad said oh we're not cutting that hawthorn tree down and now you say why and they say oh because it's unlucky but that's where that folklore comes from and that's why you'll find many hawthorn trees just like this one standing alone in the middle of fields still today <laughs> now these fairies although they're extremely protective over the hawthorn tree it's completely fine if you want to come and collect some berries leaves or blossoms from the hawthorn tree as long as you're well-mannered and polite <laughs> and it's said that if you happen to be a bride then the fairies you don't have to be polite the fairies will welcome you with open arms to collect the berries and blossoms because they want the hawthorn tree to symbolize relationships and love well i've got enough berries now but what we need to do of course remember only take your fair share nature can provide for everyone's needs not everyone's greeds so i've taken my fair share of hawthorn berries for this year so let's head home and make some hawthorn honey <music> hawthorn berries to make delicious hawthorn honey. It's so super easy peasy and it's such a brilliant way of getting all of the mighty goodness of the heroic hawthorn into your system. Heroic hawthorn, encapsulate all that goodness and preserve it I in know. hawthorn honey. Hawthorn honey, it's such a helpful little berry and it's really amazing for your heart. So make it into a honey, stir it into your tea, make it into some biscuits, and it's delicious. Come with us and we'll show you how to make it. So for this recipe, hawthorn honey, all you need is some helpful hawthorns and a cup of delicious honey. Now honey is amazing because everybody knows that honey is great for when you've got a sore throat or you're feeling a bit cold and fluey and it's such a delicious, yummy, yummy mix. We're gonna mix in our hawthorns with the honey today. Step one, we're gonna add four cups of hawthorn berries to the pan and we're just going to take off any stalks and leaves as we go but if a few stay in there don't worry too much we don't need to be too pedantic about it okay oh they feel so nice they're almost like waxy the skin's almost waxy it's quite cool one Two, three, four. Add two cups of water. One, two. Bring it to the boil. As soon as it starts to boil, we're gonna bring it right down to a slow simmer. the boil so now we're going to bring it right down to a gentle simmer and just simmer out all that water softening the berries and getting rid of the water it's been simmering for 40 minutes i'm just going to take it off the heat and let it cool down it's been cooled in for about 15-20 minutes and now we're going to pour it into our sip over this pan and this part is a labour labour of love because we're going to squish the hawthorns through this sieve so it turns into like a puree and it also stops the seeds from coming through. So, it's all about the technique. What you do, you start squishing the hawthorns 
working them through back and forth and at some point you might think I'm going to be here for the rest of my life but you won't be you can get the job done a lot quicker than you think once you just get that right technique down So every now and then, you see it's slowly pureeing through all that hawthorn goodness. Every now and then, get yourself a knife or a spoon or something. You see the bottom? And you scrape all that hawthorn goodness off into the pan. Just like when you make hawthorn ketchup. If you've not made that before, check out our video how to do it but you scoop off that and then you get back to work a tip to help you get it through the sieve faster put some of the juice back in the container back on pour some of that juice in and that'll help you So I'm halfway through the second pile of berries. It's been about 20 minutes of squishing these berries through this sieve. And when you're doing this, you have to remind yourself that I'm not just making this because it tastes great. Hawthorne tastes great, it tastes like water. But there's much more to it than that. We're making it because we want all the antioxidants from the Hawthorne preserved so we can enjoy them throughout the year. So look at this. Look at that. Our hawthorn berries are now a fine hawthorn paste. Now just add your cup of honey. Whoa, look at that. Now this is gonna not only make it sweet, but preserve it. stir all right and a little optional extra for you guys we've got a lemon and the citric acid just really helps to help to make it last a bit longer and also brings out the flavor a bit more so we're just going to squeeze in our lemon just a light squeeze, we don't want to overpower the lovely flavour of the hawthorn and the honey. Just a light squeeze in there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, taste test for me. Yes, very nice. Delicious. So now we've added our lemon. Bring your concoction to a light simmer. We like our syrups thick because then we can gloop them about and they last much longer. So we're just going to simmer it down to reduce that water content so it lasts longer and it's thicker. But you could just keep it how it is if you like it running, but we're going to simmer ours so it thickens up. So it's been simmering for about 15 minutes and it's ready to be put into our jars. Nice and thick, just how we like it. The longer you simmer it, the thicker it get. Make sure your jar is room temperature, not a cold jar. 
because otherwise they will crack. So this jar's just been relaxing in the room for a few hours. Check it out. Hawthorn magic. Don't whack it straight in the fridge because it is really hot. Just leave it on the side for a few hours to cool right down and then put it in the fridge and it'll thicken right up and then you have Hawthorn honey. And here it is. Ta-da! Hawthorn honey. Hawthorn honey. Taste test. Mmm, that is very unique honey. Mm. Wow. Yes, tastes like autumn, guys. If you want the taste oh. of autumn, sweet, sweet mm. autumn, then get yourself some hawthorn honey. That is a very unique, special recipe that should be reserved for your exclusive foraging guests. <laughs> <laughs> really proud of this one, guys. So please, please have a go at making it at home. Get your hands in all the squish and all the mush. Yeah, work and hard and you'll get really your reward. It really does pay off because it's delicious. Mm -mm -mm. As always, it's been a pleasure to see you all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and join our Patreon if you want to. All them things. <laughs> that massive list that seems to get longer every single time. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Peace. Peace.